give you everything you'll ever need And I'll find a way to turn you into a monster Uh-oh. Me and you, we can rule the world Ibiza opening party in another room on another sofa and this time with the prof. It's Professor Green. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. How are you doing? I'm good. What, what can I call you? What should I call you? Is it um, anything as long as it's not too offensive. <laughs> in fact, to be honest, I don't mind that either. You can call me. It's whatever. Steven, isn't it? It's Steven. You've just come up to this room at the back, but did you have a chance to see the mayhem downstairs and how are you feeling about it all? Um, it looked pretty chaotic, but in the best of ways. So I'm looking forward to it, you know, and the energy's good out there. And what can we expect from you down there tonight? A whole heap of energy. They seem energetic, so I'm going to give them a lot back. And you have got a new album coming out. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Because we've had loads of questions flooding in about it. Yeah, um, the new album drops in September. I'm kind of keeping, up, keeping everything close to me at the moment. I'm not really giving away too much, but um, it's definitely progression. You know, it's definitely a progression from the first record. As I said, we've just had loads of people kind of messaging in on the Facebook group. And... Most of it, they wanted to know like how you started, what your inspirations are for your music. So can you tell us a bit about that as well? Yeah, um, I started listening to rap when I was 10 or 11 and Biggie was the first rap artist I started listening to. Um, and from there I got into East Coast hip hop quite a lot. And I've always preferred the East Coast sound more than the West Coast. But Biggie's still my favourite rap artist today. Um, I listen to loads of different type of, types of music though. And I think that's prevalent in my music. There's a lot of different influences. I read, I did have a quick sneak peek at your website today and I read on there that you were in a design company and you passed like a flyer one day to go and do one of the kind of live rapping competitions is that how it all began for you I was what yeah I was um, out on lunch um, and I see this poster for an MC battle and I went down there with my with my lot and uh, I won my first battle actually. And that was kind of how I got into the whole battling thing. Prior to that, I'd just started messing around freestyling with my mates. And continued to win from what I read? Yeah, I, I lost a couple of times, not too many. <laughs> um, I think it was like 112 battles and I only lost eight times. Some of them I didn't deserve to lose either. And I'm not just saying that. Well, I don't think you're gonna lose in here tonight. Like they've been shouting your name like all night long and they're all screaming, I mean like, how, how, I'm just going to go back to the Ibiza thing because obviously we're here now. How does it feel to be back on the island and about to perform? I think you've got half an hour to go. Amazing. I've worn nothing but my T-shirt. It's a, a nice feeling. Um, there's a good vibe on that island. A lot of kids now look up to you. I mean, I did also read on your website, you know, that school wasn't your favourite thing. But look at you now. What would you say to anybody that's like thinking of like going down the same route as you? I mean, um, to avoid the first few roads. <laughs> yeah. Um, and just just work hard, you know, and be prepared to work harder if it does start working because that's when the real work starts. You know, I think everyone has this um, ideal and an idea of, of music and becoming successful in music and it, it will solve all your problems. It makes certain things easier, but, you know, it doesn't stop you having good and bad days, you know. And one, just one of the other questions that somebody asked as well, that everyone knows you've done quite a few collaborations. We know you toured with Lily Allen. Um, and somebody said, do you get on with N-Dubs? <laughs> I don't know whether that's a relevant question, but do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Dappy are doing a song for his album, actually. Excellent. There you go. So that answers the Facebook question there, then. So have you got just one last message to all the people that have come down to see you tonight? Yeah, oy, you mad, mad, mad people. And I can say that because I looked out on the balcony on the way in and saw you all. Thank you for coming down. I hope you enjoy the show. And see you in a bit. I'll give you everything you'll ever need. Sorry, Pete.